Hi, I'm Paul Sartre here. Welcome to Heart of Gold. Central Kentucky Riding for Hope. Two lovely ladies, mm -hmm. Pat Klein, the Executive Director, and Jessica Bicey, the Development Director. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Your colors look great. You just flow right <laughs> into the couch and Kentucky blue on top of it. For sure. You just had a big event, but for people that don't know and didn't hear about the great event that you had, explain what Riding for Hope is all about, Pat. Riding for Hope provides equine um, equine assisted activities and therapies to individuals with special needs. That's like an elevator speech. That <laughs> it right is. There. I mean, that, yeah. that, we've that, worked that, hard to try and do yeah. that. That says it all. Um, we've got plenty of time to explain what that means. There seems to be a lovely relationship between horses and people that need some kind of therapy. That that's correct. In our program, we serve children and adults. Um, and if you think of us. I think the easiest way to explain is if you think of us as an umbrella and knowing that everything we do uh, come, you know, under the umbrella involves a horse. So if you look mm -hmm. at the different programs that come under that umbrella, um, the, I think we're probably best known for our therapeutic riding classes um, on which you know, we serve individuals with physical disabilities, cognitive or social emotional issues. And it's all done with a horse. So, Sometimes um, the majority of those activities are mounted uh, because you're probably trying to achieve a, a, a low, trying to achieve a goal that enriches somebody's functional skills. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's core strength mm -hmm. uh, to develop your spine and your balance. Um, we can do wonderful things with sitting on top of a horse. Um, it's wonderful for the children that are participating because if they're, for example. Um, usually in a wheelchair, they have an opportunity to mm. sit up and look down. So mm, it gives you an ability to change perspective, yeah, and, yeah. and along with changing your your perspective, a lot of times comes a extreme growth in self confidence, mm -hmm. and you know, an engagement with a group that you know you feel really involved with. Yes, and I would imagine that when the Derby's going on in horse racing, yeah. they're saying, "I rode a horse." In a wheelchair, well, that probably is the magic that you make happen. It is a lot of times. I mean, the magic is a great part of it, and that's what the, that's the aspect that the horses bring. Mm -hmm. You know, there are wonderful, wonderful people, volunteers, mm -hmm. um, great children involved in the riding program, backed up by an army of volunteers and very capable staff. Um, it make wonderful things happen for for the children. And Jessica, and you've been with Riding for Hope how long? Um, almost a year. About a year. What yeah. brought you to Writing for Hope? Well, I actually started volunteering <laughs> there first. Of course. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think we've uh, got kind of a reputation of drawing in our volunteers to staff. It's great because it's, I'm really impressed by the, the staff that we have because everybody's so credentialed in your own fields, but then also must have that background of horses too. Mm -hmm. So we really want to share our love and experiences with the horses with our clients. We're going to talk about the fun stuff coming up, but yeah. when you do the therapy, is how did this get started that horses are great f for therapy for people that have issues, and does someone oversee the process to think they need to come every week or every two weeks? How does all that happen? Well, yeah. I think primarily that, that happens. Um, it begins with you know make somebody connecting us to the you know connecting yes. with us and then we reach mm -hmm. out and do an assessment of each individual before they begin uh, you know achieving you know coming for services mm -hmm. there and try to take an account in this assessment of you know what do they what what are the goals mm -hmm. and sometimes the goals are presented you know in combination with the therapist or a caregiver or a parent or the participant themselves you know what is it that you're trying to achieve or would like to see achieved mm -hmm. and and then how how are we going to work the horse into that process of helping achieve the goals for each individual? So it's not yeah. just people jumping on a horse or riding for a while and they feel connected to the horse. There is an actual plan that you've got with these people. Definitely, for sure. And that's all through our program director works to make sure that we know what each of the client's abilities are and what their needs are. Because something people may not know is that riding a horse really affects 
most of your bodily um, processes. So um, because the, the beats of the horse are very similar to the beats of our own um, bodies walking, hmm. the human body. So we're working with helping um, your bodily functions as far as eating and sleeping and uh, walking. But, um, so we can really help so much um, that people need. It all plays together. For sure. In therapeutic riding, you know, that we were initially talking about under one of the core things under our umbrella, you know, it's not uncommon for children to really achieve milestones in speech because, mm. you know, one body system stimulating mm. another, you know, when you're sitting upright and it's an overload sometimes on your senses because mm. you have the olfactory and the sounds and, mm -hmm. you know, um, the, the relationships going all at the same time. In the last 12 months, how many children, how many adults total have you helped? Um, approximately 900. Oh my gosh. Individuals are, are mm -hmm. you know, have ridden multiple times, but that translates, you know, it's it's not exactly a program where you come once, you know, yes. you keep coming. Sure. So that tra that translates into almost 3,000 sessions a year that happen at CKRH. Mm -hmm. So when people come to the horse park, again, they're not just going for a little gallop. I mean, they're going for a plan, some action, and they want some results. Yes. Yes, you know, one of the other programs mm -hmm. under our umbrella mm -hmm. is something called hippotherapy. And in hippotherapy, that's a, a little different than therapeutic riding in that a therapist has to be present in the session. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that we do that in combination with the Cardinal Hill Hospital. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. their outpatients will come and there's a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, and sometimes a speech therapist that has to be present during the lesson. And again, those goals are set by the therapist what are we trying to do and how can we best help this particular client? And then we, you know, provide uh, the horse and the link there, which is, you know, for children that are spending a lot of time on general tabletop therapies, yeah. um, this is a whole, a whole different thing because you can connect with your horse and they want to come for it's the most part. It's probably a beautiful relationship that happens. Yeah. Something that really helps them and they can't wait to go. It's, um, you know. <laughs> they can't wait to go to therapy. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Before we go on, yeah. if you could give your website and your phone number that yeah. people, if they've got family members, children, adults that want to get connected, mm -hmm. where would they go to find out? Yeah, great. To go to our website, it's ckrh.org, and then the phone number is 859-231-7066. And we're going to talk about the fun stuff, Yeah. <laughs> but how big is your staff? Because to feed the horses, to take care of the horses, and then with the five staff that you, the staff that you have, yeah. who pays for all that? We've got a very small staff. We've got um, nine on staff, mm -hmm. and then this, she said, an army of volunteers. Yes. Last year alone, we had 1,300 volunteers oh my that gave 11,000 hours. Wow. So it's oh. amazing. We were very fortunate to have these people that, you know, our volunteers come in and they get connected with the clients and with the horses and they, they don't see it as work, you know. It's We're going to get to the fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so if people want to volunteer, what, yeah. the, what are the criteria? Do they need to be yeah. any certain? They need to go on the website, secarriage.org, mm -hmm. okay. and, you know, so, send in an application. Okay. And then our volunteer coordinator that is one of our staff positions mm -hmm. uh, will call you and mm -hmm. schedule you to come. Everybody has to go through a series of orientations. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, do background checks and be cleared before that. So one of our staff sure. positions is a full-time volunteer coordinator and she reaches out once mm -hmm. the application is there and the paperwork's completed and and helps you find the area that you might like there are some volunteers that want some horse time and we have a great herd to to take care of you know they're wonderful they're forgiving you know they're very gentle horses some folks really want to participate with the children in the lessons and some folks would just really love to say I can I can give you three or four days at a time. Mm. I'm great for special events, mm -hmm. but I can't commit to a whole session. So we have an, we have a world of opportunities. <laughs> and every place there are horses involved. Every place. Now the sure. fun stuff. What's coming up in yeah. the upcoming months? Well, we've got our next fundraiser is coming up in October, okay. October 28th. Uh -huh. It is our annual tax sale and trail ride. And let me tell you, it's not just any tax sale. It's a really well um, established used tax sale that gives Black Friday a run for its money. Really? <laughs> We've ah. definitely got ah. um, a reputation. A lot of people come in and line up before they're able to, to go in just to be able to get first dibs on all those great deals that we Give got. Give some examples. What would they be? 
lots of different used saddles, lots of English saddles, a few westerns as well. Um, of a whole bunch of horse blankets, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. all of the other types of um, tools that you need in, uh, for, for riding. And clothing, we, you know, because there are so many children that are involved in horse shows, but they all grow, you know, that very mm -hmm. expensive mm -hmm. uh, clothing. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great place to trade and make yeah. use of used materials and give, you know, people just starting out a, mm -hmm. a chance to get for themselves or their horse, yeah. you know, something they need. I mean, if you yeah. can imagine it related to a horse, we're selling it in the tax sale. I would imagine you're connected in equine world, but for that one person yeah. watching that says, I've got some equine uh -huh. tech equipment, yeah. who would they contact or what do you need? Just come out and bring it out to our facility at the horse park and we'll be able to write you up and, and take it from you. <laughs> a, ta a tax donation. Mm -hmm. We can write up a tax donation. Mm -hmm. A tax donation? Ta <laughs> yeah. No, did I say tax? Tax donation. <laughs> do you get things from the horse farms? Is that yes. you? Any Whatever. famous horses don't, that any mm -hmm. equipment that have been used by famous horses? Well, mm -hmm. we we for the purpose of the tax sale, we get a lot of used used things that people are tur turning over yeah. for one reason yeah. or another, and and it's wonderful for another fundraising event. The horse farms are around here are very generous in donating sure and donating halters of famous horses. What else yeah. is coming up in the fall? Yeah, well, our therapeutic riding during um, our fall session will be starting up in August. Mm -hmm. And something else that we haven't really touched on is a great program is the Stables. And it's a program in collaboration with the Fayette County Public School System. Mm -hmm. And it's middle mm -hmm. school, high school students. It's an option if they're not having success in a traditional school setting then this is an alternative for them. Hmm. They're able to come out. We've got about 65 students that come every day taking their regular classes, <laughs> English, math, sciences, and then they have the component of working in the barn and with the horses combined to it. So you've used horses not just to help yeah. children and adults that need therapy, mm. but for Emotional, social purposes as well. To, to enhance yeah. the typical traditional school, school experience mm -hmm. by adding in equine mm -hmm. and making the magic happen there too. Yes, it's hmm. you know like therapeutic mm -hmm. riding and hippotherapy that we've touched on. We also do equine assisted education, and mm -hmm. so under that heading, uh, we have a school and you know we do a lot of uh, reinforcement and a, and a different mode of learning. You know, for some of the children it's the getting out and the doing of things that really helps them to learn and you know they're there because they haven't been successful in their mm -hmm. home school for one reason or another so we're just there to provide an alternative um, you know and a different setting for sure. them. It is taught by teachers from Fayette County Public Schools mm -hmm. so the math teacher you know is employed by the Fayette County Public Schools the science teacher is, is again you know a, a comes from the school district, but the part of the day that happens in the barn with the horses mm -hmm. is taught by us. Well, God love you for <laughs> branching out and using horses so effectively yeah. for kids and adults that need it and the kids in schools that need a little bit of boost as well. If people want to volunteer, if they want to donate because it's very expensive to keep horses going, sure. again, let's get the website and phone number, then we'll say goodbye. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our website is ckrh.org. And the phone number is 859-231-7066. Well, Thank best you. of luck to you, Jessica. Thank Pat, you. thanks for coming on Thank tonight. you. Thank you yeah. very much. Hope it goes well. Thank we'll you. We'll do all we can. I'm Paul Chartier. We'll be right back on Heart of Gold.